everyone. It's so good to see you tonight on this Revival Fire Night. Anybody excited about God? If you know he's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, I need you to make some noise right where you are. Come on, let's celebrate the King. Hallelujah, let's celebrate the Lord for he's worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Come on, clap your hands like this, everybody. Come on. Father, we love you. Hallelujah. Listen. Glory, glory, glory to our King. Glory, glory, glory to our King. To the Lamb who was slain for our being. To the Lamb who was slain for our being. Glory, glory, glory to our
hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for being such a great king. You are worthy. You are worthy. Come on, lift up that word of worship. Come on. Let's bask in his presence, church. Oh, Jesus. Yes, Lord. It's all about you, Jesus. testimony tonight. Here's my worship, all of my worship. Receive my worship, all of my worship. Yes, Father. Here's my worship, all of my worship. Receive my worship, all of my worship, you, Lord. Lord, you are worthy. Come on, let's lift it to him. And no one say, and no one can worship you for me. Come on, let's bask in his presence for all the things you've done. Yes, Lord. If you're there at home, come on, just lift those hands and bask in his presence. Let's worship him together. Yeah. Come on, let's say it. Here's my worship. All of my worship. Receive my Here's my worship, Father. Here's my worship. All of my worship. Father, receive my
Lift up a worthy praise. Oh, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. Oh, you're worthy, you're worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worship is giving. Worship is expressing. Worship is in spirit and in truth. Biblical worship that is in the beauty or the splendor of God's holiness. It's recognizing, acknowledging, and expressing worth, His worth, giving Him what He's due. No one can do it for us. We've got to do it ourselves. I can't worship for you. You can't worship for me. We can't worship for you. You can't worship for us. But together, we can worship him together. We can magnify his name. We can glorify him. Not unto us, but to God. Be all the glory, all the praise, all the honor. We've got this night another opportunity to worship him. I trust that this is not a performance for you, that right where you are, wherever you are, and as much as it is possible wherever you are, that you can worship the Lord along with us. In his presence is fullness of joy. At his right hand are pleasures forevermore. When his glory is revealed, great things happen. Salvation, healing, deliverance. God will cause the release of his word, his blessings, breakthrough when we worship him together. So good evening, good Wednesday evening, Revival Fire. It's already stirring. It continues. I'm grateful that we have this opportunity to be in this place and connect with you virtually all over this world. If you haven't done so already, please take a moment and share the link. Invite others to experience Revival Fire with us. This is a God encounter indeed. He's already filling this room, filling our hearts, and we pray always that what happens here transcends this place and meets you right where you are. If this is your first time with us, you are an honored guest with us here tonight, and this is what I'd like you to do. Please, at this moment, text first time to 797979. As soon as you do that, we're going to send something to you immediately from our heart to yours. Wish we could put it in your hand on it in person tonight, but we're unable to do so. But you have an opportunity, if you can, to join us this Sunday at 9 a.m. in person. You need to register, and those of you who intend to, reg to be a part of Sunday's in-person service, you need to register. During this time in our service, we have what we call agape hug time. Got to do it virtually. It's worship as well. Share the love. Come on, somebody needs to uh, it, 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 it receive today some encouragement. Put that on, on the chat as well. Send somebody some love. Just enjoy fellowship with one another as we continue to worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. I'll be right back. Amen. Come on, let's show love all around, all across the globe. Those of you that are joining us, come on. Get up from where you are. Put a smile on your face and come on, move along with us. Everybody, come on. Everybody
I look. You know, some folk look and all they see is bad, but I choose to see good. I tell you, uh, there's a lot of bad things going on in the world. We can't deny that. But even on a bad day, he's a good God. And I think we need to focus on the goodness of the Lord. Wake up in the morning expecting to see good, anticipating great favor to just fill our lives, surround us, and expecting God to show himself strong on our behalf. When I look back over my shoulder, I see what a mighty long way he's brought me from. And listen, in, in uh, uh, old, old time Pentecost growing up, we had what we called devotional services. So there was singing of songs and praise to the Lord. And then there were testimonies. People would rise and give their testimonies and talk about the goodness of the Lord and the things that God has done for them. And listen, we got to continue to testify, continue to tell of his goodness. When we start reflecting and thinking about the things that he's done for us, it has a way of just encouraging us, stirring our spirit. It, 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 it has a way uh, of just uh, uh, encouraging us even more so to believe God for what he's doing now and in the future because if he's done it in the past he can do it again what am I saying if he's ever made a way for you he'll make a way for you if he's ever healed your body he'll heal your body if he's ever opened doors he's still God that opens doors that no man can shut everywhere I look around I see his goodness I see his glory I see it in your life and I prophesy it now open your eyes look and see oh taste and see that the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever has it been good to you come on put it in that chat say the Lord has been good to me in fact he's been so good to me I can't tell it all. Can't tell it all, can't tell it all. But I can praise him. I can glorify him. I can say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I encourage you, talk to yourself and just declare that you're going to open your eyes and see. There's some things that have been there all the while, but you just didn't see it. You didn't notice that there was an angelic host around you, more with you than against you. You didn't know that you had a miracle in your house. Maybe in a small form, but it's there. And if you get to activating it, that little something, you'll see the goodness of the Lord take something little and make big out of it. I just believe God today to open our eyes, to stretch our faith, to cause us to see what we haven't seen before. This is revival fire. You better get it even right now and just declare everywhere I look from now on, rather than looking at the bad, I'm looking at the good and I expect to see more and more greater still from glory to glory, from faith to faith, ever increasing. Glory. Everywhere. Come on, somebody. I can't do it because you, you do it. Put everywhere, 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 everywhere. Just put it out there everywhere. The north, south, east, and west. In fact, that's where your blessing is coming from. Everywhere. North, south, east, and west. Why? Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Because he's got you surrounded. And your blessing is not dependent upon your employer. God's got a blessing that, that he gives that it goes beyond your employer. It, be, it goes beyond your paycheck. <laughs> oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. When God pours out his blessing, it's over and above. It's exceedingly, abundantly above all that we can ask or think. And I just believe God today for an outpour, an, an, an outpour, an overflow. I, I just believe that. Do you sense it in the atmosphere? I think there's a praise in here we got attached to it. So come on right now. will not you take about 90 good seconds. Get up if you're seated and come on, give God some praise. We'll do it here. You do it there. Let's connect virtually. Better yet, let's connect spiritually. Come on, come on, come on. That's it. Everywhere. Yay. From the north, south, east, and
<laughs> he's good. He's good to me. Come on, put it in the chat. He's good. He's good to me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Be faithful in a few things. He'll appoint you to greater things. If you can't say thank you, if you can't appreciate the little things, how in the world would you be able to handle the big things? But if you'll stop and pause and say, Lord, I thank you for the little bit. I thank you, for, Father, for making it this far. I thank you, Father, for what you've already done. It's just a sampling of what you're getting ready to do. I just believe big, 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 enormous, ginormous, spectacular. And we bless you and praise you, Father, for overwhelming us with your goodness, with your glory. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Revival fire is burning in our hearts and it's burning in this place. And I'm just so excited to have this opportunity. It means so very much. Oh my God. Hallelujah. It, it, it's really hard to move on from this place because I tell you, I got a whole lot going on in here and in here. So listen, this is not a show. When I think about his goodness, I cannot be silent and I will not let the rocks cry out for me. Do I have a witness in here? How about do I have a witness out there? If I gave you a few more seconds, would you give it up to him? Come on, would you give it up to the Lord? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God.
joy we draw water from the wells of salvation the joy of the Lord is your strength rejoice in the Lord always but Paul said and again I say rejoice we can't praise him enough thank you Jesus wonderful Savior mighty God glorious hallelujah oh. hmm Jesus, what a mighty, mighty presence of the Lord in this place. And I know where you are as well. Times of refreshing and refueling, reviving. Thanks be to God, our Father. Yeah. And this is different from happiness. This is joy. Things got to happen for one to be happy. Joy, however, is not dependent upon good things happening. They happen, but even in the midst of bad things, I got a joy. That the world didn't give and the world can't take it away. Amen. Um, we're going to continue worshiping. This time in the giving of the Lord's tithe and offerings. And I tell you, I got the, the perfect scripture already prepared in light of the enthusiasm, the fervency, the willingness to praise and worship the Lord. It's in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 7. And I want to I say this first before reading the verse. And I'd like you who are uh, joining us online to put this in the chat. And just, just put this in the chat. Say, we don't got to give. We get to give. We don't got to give. We get to give. You get that paycheck, and there's some things you got to pay. Bills, taxes, you got to buy groceries. I know we could think of a whole lot of other things we'd rather do when the pay paycheck comes than to spend it on expenses. But when expenses are, are, are made or generated, then, okay, we got we to gotta pay. But we shouldn't approach giving to the Lord as I got to do it, but I get to do it. I get to do it because he's blessed me in the first place. I want to read 2 Corinthians 9 and 7, but from the Amplified. It says, let each one give as he has made up in his own mind and purposed in his heart. Not reluctantly or sorrowfully or under compulsion. For God loves, he takes pleasure in, prizes above other things, and is unwilling to abandon or to do without a cheerful, joyous, prompt to do it, giver whose heart is in giving. Make certain your heart is in it. Give cheerfully. Be prompt to do it. Be willing to do it. Be excited about doing it. And I love the very next verse. In verse 7, it's, in verse 8 rather, it says, And God is able to make all grace, every favor and earthly blessing come to you in abundance so that you may always and under all circumstances and whatever the need be self-sufficient, possessing enough to require no aid or support and furnished in abundance for every good work and charitable donation. God wants to bless you even as you release the seed. So not only are your needs taken care of, but you'll be able to contribute to the help or the aid of others. Let's give with the same enthusiasm as unto the Lord. Remember, as an act of worship and genuine faith. Worship team's going to lead us a little further, and I'll be right back.
is absolutely no one like our God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. with us on this one, everybody.
Let's take our seed and lift it up before the Lord, our Father, from your hand. We receive this seed. We now release back into your hand for your glory and for your honor. We stand on your word. We don't got to give. We get to give. And we're delighted to give to you today. And I thank you that you will take the seed sown and you will multiply it and cause it to return into our hand as a harvest. It may leave our hand but it will not leave our future. It's coming back. It's coming back. It'll not leave our life, rather. It's coming back in our future, and we believe God for this in Jesus' name. Amen. What a mighty presence of the Lord in this place. And I want to just share something briefly with you. Um, for, for context, I'd like you to just go to Matthew chapter 26 on this revival fire. If you've been following along with us, I'm really... Uh, it's so many weeks now, 20 plus weeks we've been doing this as led of the Lord. And my God, each week I'm looking forward to these times because I am being refreshed and rejuvenated and, and, and revived. And so the Lord put this word in my spirit to share with you on this evening in Matthew chapter 26. And you'll find these words. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane and said to his disciples, Sit here while I go and pray over there. And he took with them, with him, Peter and his two sons of Zebedee, and he began to be sorrowful and deeply distressed. And he said to them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death. Stay here and watch with me. He went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh, my Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Scripture goes on to say, He came to his disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, What? Could you not wait with me one hour? Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. I want you to focus on the latter part there of verse 41, the phrase watch and pray, watch and pray. If we're going to have revival fire, we have got to be awake, can't be sleeping like the disciples in this passage at a most critical time. Jesus is in the Garden of Gethsemane. He's, he's preparing to uh, go to Calvary, to be crucified. And he asks his disciples, those who are closest to him, who are walking with him, to just watch, watch with me. He goes, he prays, he comes back, he finds them sleeping. It was obviously a long day. They were tired. Their eyelids were heavy. Beyond their physical tiredness or weariness and them being asleep physically, it speaks to us of a spiritual truth that we should in this hour be awake, we should be alert. Hence, Jesus says, watch. Be like the, 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 the evening watchman or the guard who has to be even more diligent to the day watchman because in the day you can see things from afar. But in the night, if you're not alert, if you're not watching, then the enemy can sneak up on you unaware. And so he says, watch and pray. Your spirit is willing. Our spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. We all got this thing called flesh. Old folk used to call it the flush. We got to keep it under. We got to make certain that we not allow ourselves to be distracted. That we not allow ourselves to be in a slumber or a state of slumber or stupor. That in this hour, we're alert, we're sensitive, we're watching, and we're praying. In similar fashion, uh, in Luke chapter 21, uh, they're going to put those verses up there on the screen for me so I don't have to look at it. Uh, there you go, on my phone. But take heed to yourselves, Jesus said, lest your heart be weighed down with carousing, that's dissipation, drunkenness, and the cares of this life. And that day come on you unexpectedly. For it will come as a snare on all of those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch therefore and pray always 
that you may not that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the son of man yeah we got to watch and we got to pray in james james chapter 1 it says blessed is the man that endures temptation for when he is tried he will be approved he will receive the crown of life which the lord has promised to those who love him. There's a blessing in enduring. There's a blessing in not allowing temptation to overcome you or overwhelm you. And one of my favorite passages in scripture that I'd like to add to tonight's um, verses or passages is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Verse 12 said, let he who thinks he stand, stand or take heed lest he fall. And then verse 13, one of my favorite verses says, no temptation, which can also be translated, no test, no trial has overtaken you or, or taken you, but what is common to man. We all have our uniquenesses, but they are those things that are common to each of us. So testing, trials, temptation is common. The temptation may come your way, but you don't have to give in to it. It's been said you can't keep birds from flying over your head. Head, but you can keep them from making a nest in your, in your hair. In the midst of the temptation, God gives us this promise. He says, I'm faithful. God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted above what you are able and will with every temptation, test, or trial give you such grace that you'll be able to escape it. He'll give you the ability to endure if you keep your eyes on him. So what do we have to do? We got to watch and we got to pray. It's not playing time, saints. It's, pr it's praying time. So give yourself to prayer. I encourage you to join us each morning, Tuesday through Friday, in morning prayer. And on those days where we may not be meeting together corporately on a prayer call, give yourself to prayer. Prayer, And not just at 6.30 a.m., but give yourself to prayer throughout the day. Prayer is talking to God, calling out to God, help me, Lord Jesus. Sometimes that's, that's the most a simple but most powerful prayer one can pray. Help me, Lord. Have you ever just said that? Lord, I just, I don't even have volumes to say. All I need is your help. I need the grace that you give to help me as I'm facing temptation and trial. And every temptation is not uh, 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 with regards to some uh, immoral uh, temptation, uh, issue of morality. It, it can be simply just a temptation to give in or to give, give up, uh, it, it, to, to wane uh, in, 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 in your assignment. Uh, uh, to, to be weakened, to, to, to just grow frustrated and cold. Those are temptations that we face. But when you cry out to God, God, help me. Help me because I want to be awake in this hour. I want to be alert and I want to be prayerful. And God will cause that revival fire to burn in you in this hour as you cultivate what he's begun so that it will just spread and spread and spread. And whatever is misaligned will, will then uh, find alignment in him and we'll be able to walk together in harmony with him. That's my desire and I pray that that's yours as well. Watch and pray. Can we just pause right now before we conclude our time together and let's just pray. Wherever you are, I want you to just assume the posture of prayer that Paul spoke of. Lifting up holy hands without prayer, without wrath rather, and doubting. Men should always pray, not just human beings, but specifically their men. Men, you are to pray. If anybody should lead out in prayer, it should be uh, the, the sons of God, the, men, the male sons of God, the children of God. Of course, women, we're all invited to pray. We've been given this opportunity, this divine invitation. Let's respond and pray in Jesus' name. Come on with those hands lifted. Our hands lifted today. Our Father, uh, speak to us. Uh, uh, speak with regards to our adoration of you and our submission to you, our praise of you, our dependence upon you. We thank you for your word on this revival fire night. May it be stirred in the hearts of each and every one of us. And long after this service is ended, I pray that there be birthed within us such a desire to watch and pray. Forgive us, Father, for sleeping on the job. Forgive us for being slowful. Forgive us for being mediocre. Forgive us for being average when you called us to be ab above average, above and beyond. Forgive us, Father, for not for receiving the grace in vain, for not using the grace that you've given to us. 
appropriately. Forgive us for not being good and faithful stewards. Forgive us, Father, for sinfulness. Forgive us, Father, for falling into temptation. Uh, Lord God, you said, watch and pray that you fall not into, tempt into, into temptation, that you not enter into it, that you not stumble into it, that you're not overwhelmed with it, that, that, that you didn't even realize it was there and you just fell into it. Give us, I pray, to be alert, our ears open, our eyes open wide, to see, to perceive, to have discernment in this hour and father you be our help today and in the days to come and we'll walk in victory as the songwriter penned it yield not to temptation for yielding is sin each victory will help you some other to win father we will put away from us any and everything of darkness that which is unbecoming that which is not consistent with the lifestyle of Christ we will follow in your footsteps God be our help help us in times of weakness we got this flesh it's it, it's weak uh, but our spirit is willing may our spirits be strengthened tonight and in the days to come so that we will always draw near to you be submitted to you therefore being powered to resist the devil and satan has got to flee we thank you father for hearing our prayer we thank you for granting us what we ask this night in prayer and father our eyes are on you therefore we will know what to do and we will never go astray you are the author the beginner and the finisher the developer of our faith and therefore father we will not succumb to the tactics of the enemy but we will be strong in the lord and in the power of his might and all who agree with this prayer come on say amen so be it in the name of jesus come on now put a praise on it just clap those hands and say thank you jesus thank you jesus it is so thank you jesus it is so hallelujah perhaps you don't know jesus christ as your lord and savior before we conclude our time together today would you just cry out to him just 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 pray with me just say lord i repent of my sins and i come in jesus name believing in my heart jesus is risen from the dead therefore i confess with my mouth jesus is lord save me lord jesus sanctify me set me apart to you and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Come on, backslider, you've gotten away from him. Confess your sins. They may be great, but his grace is greater. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Forgive us, Lord, for everything that has grieved your Holy Spirit. And we vow this night with your help will not continue in that path but we're we'll change truly repent and may it be evident in each of our lives in jesus name we pray if you prayed with me i want you to text please agape to the number that's on the screen 79 79 79 let me know either that you receive jesus christ or that you rededicated your life to the lord Furthermore, if you need a church home, Agape is a great place to be connected. If you want to be a part of Agape, to that very same number, text NEW2021. We'll be delighted to have you to become a part of our growing family that continues to grow even in a pandemic. Well, call me old-fashioned, but I just believe that God doesn't change, that he still heals, that he still delivers. And before we close out tonight, I want to pray for you who need healing in your body. And if not in your body, perhaps you need emotional healing, mental healing. He's God. He's capable. He's able. And he's willing. So if you need a healing touch, I want you to just stretch out your hand to him. Stretch out your hand heavenward. And just say, here I am, Lord. I need healing. Heal me. Heal me. We stand together in faith with you, believing God to heal you from sickness, disease, that which has been chronic, can't seem to get rid of it, may not be uh, a death sentence, may not be a terminal issue, but you just can't seem to be free of it. Whatever God does, he does well. And we pray for you. You foul spirit of infirmity, 
We're not begging you. We're not asking you. We're not pleading with you. We are commanding you in Jesus' name by his authority and by his power. Not in our name, but in his name. That saving, healing, delivering name of Jesus. Loose these now that they may be set free. Holy Spirit, power of God, virtue of Jesus the Christ, minister now to these healing and wholeness and make them every bit whole. Arise and be healed in the name of Jesus. There's an individual um, that it's, it's, it's like you, your, your sense of smell is impaired. You got a little bit of it, but it's not normal. It's not what it should be. But God heal you right now. And it's kind of, I'm getting it like this. It's like one side. You know, it's kind of like one side, maybe it's, it's stuffy and the other side is not. But this has to do with your sense of smell. Whatever that side is where you're having trouble um, with that uh, sense of smell, just lay your hand on it right now. And in the name of Jesus, we speak healing. And we, in Jesus' name, we command your sense of smell to return fully in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father. We th there it is. There it is. Receive it right now. Go ahead. Come on. Even by faith, just start. Come on. If you got to get something to smell, a candle or cologne, just go ahead and do that now. In the name of Jesus, be healed. You be sure to share with us your testimonies of healing. We want to be able to rejoice with you and share the good news with others. What a joy it's been sharing with you tonight. I trust that you've enjoyed the presence of the Lord along with us. Again, join me on the prayer call on uh, this morning, on tomorrow morning, Thursday morning, Friday, and of course Sunday. If you haven't registered for Sunday 9 a.m., come on, don't be slow, don't wait too late. Register as soon as this service concludes. Go to our website, register for Sunday morning service, and we'll look to see you again on this Sunday at 9 a.m. If you're not going to attend the service, join us, of course, online. I love you. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Shalom, my brothers and sisters. Peace of God be with you.